This is my first time ever touching this gun. I'm in love. What is good, Greg Gang? We're today, listen, we are making some improvements. Remember the video? I sure hope you do. Where we first got the thing? I asked y'all in the comments, what upgrades should we do? Well, you commented and I read. What we are going to do in this video is take this from a base defender into the most epic hunting machine the world has probably ever seen. But first things first, I do have to give a giant shout out to all my members out there because this video would not be possible without the members. But now on to the upgrade. Okay, okay, looking good so far. I'm gonna make a wild guess and say that's parts of the windshield because we got a very special windshield. Now there is more coming, I think. I'm not actually sure about that. Let me just go show you real quick. So just in case you've never seen a car before, the windshield is a big piece of glass that goes right here on the front. Here it is. What does that do? Well, a few days ago, Ethan actually got almost knocked out from a locust hit him in the face. So one, it's gonna stop bugs. It's also gonna stop wind. Also gonna stop rain. Maybe turkey. That'd be nice. Anyways, the back glass, it's a piece of glass that goes back here in the back. Now you may be thinking, can will do that? Really doesn't make sense. Is that to stop a turkey in reverse? What are you talking about? Well, not really. But with the back glass, instead of the wind coming in and in, it just comes around and all the way around. This is gonna be epic. And I mean epic for winter. Air is cold. And I don't wanna be cold. Enjoy this very, um, uh, I don't know, low skill montage of me attempting to put something together which I know nothing of. Okay, that's enough. Let's do it. Okay, guys, all right, just, 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 just hold on a minute, okay? I'm just gonna say this. I didn't film one bit of me installing all of it, but it is all put on now. The third upgrade, a roof gun rack. Now, that's probably one of the, all right, dude, we'll wait for the wind to stop for a minute. But yeah, guys, I got this gun rack. It is slick, guys. Like, this, this is a slick gun rack. But not just any gun rack, okay? I know there's plenty you can put back here on the back windshield. You can put some right there in the middle console, but listen, I didn't want that. I knew that. That I wanted one above me so that, let me just show you. I'm driving, I'm driving. Oh snap, someone killed my chicken in front of me. Not so fast, Buster. You're going to town. Bang! But yeah, guys, that's the concept. I want it right here so that quick detach, boom, I can shoot it from inside the cab. This is the gun I picked out to be my go-to side-by-side rig. It's a super short gun, super compact. 17 HMR, so it shoots this bullet right here. Basically, it's like a hyped-up 22, And it can kill anything from a ground squirrel to... Honestly, it can probably drop a coyote if you hit it right in the noggin. Trying to kill a deer with it, you're kind of stretching it. But if you try to shoot a deer from this thing, you're probably a poacher. The front glass. That is installed. Let me show you a little bit about it. I got the three positions, so right there is one position. Boom! That's the second position. Kind of got a little vent here. You can get a little bit of air. Or, there we go. And it just opens up just like that. So let's go right around a little bit. Then we'll go pick up Mammy, see what in the world she's thinking. Okay, guys. Now we're up here. We're in the field. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and bring down the windshield. This is how you do it. It just flips up there. You grab the handle. You pull it down. You lock it in. I have found a potential problem. And it is if I move very much, I'm going to start hitting my guns with my helmet. All right, boys. Let's rip it a little bit and see how much wind I actually feel. You should be able to feel it with the microphone, too. Honestly, I'm not feeling very much wind at all which is gonna be perfect for whenever it's really cold outside. Now, if it, something happens and it gets kinda hot outside, I could bring that in, vent it a little bit. Let me see how much air I get now. Yeah, now I get a decent amount of air. I get enough to where I can actually breathe pretty good and fresh air and all that good, good. And then, if for some reason I just wanna feel the wind, I pop that bad boy. Oh gosh, I'm still getting used to it. Ah, there we go, ow. Anyways, I pop that up and it's basically like I don't even have a windshield. That's perfect for, I don't know, anytime you don't want a windshield. <laughs> All right, guys, if you can't tell, we're picking up Mamie. The old thing is about to enter frame. And here she comes. She's in the frame. Officially, oh, oh, I think she broke some collarbone. Shattered. Okay, Mamie, so as of right now, what do you think about it? I mean, we got the back windshield so we don't hit turkeys in reverse front we windshield. We got the car. Uh-huh. Then we got the front windshield to uh, stop a little bit of wind and uh, toddlers. Yeah. We can get pretty fast and you really can't feel anything, can you? What do you think about the new rig so far? You like it? I like it. All right, good. We'll go do some stunts with it and flips. Ah! 
<laughs> I was just thinking about it. I'd have not actually showed you the new two cows. We got this one right here. She's a mom. Then we actually got old Buford over here. He is her son. He is about two weeks old. Mmm, Buford. Let's go, Bu Stop trying to lick me, bro. I don't know what you think you're doing. Oh, yeah, show us them toofers. Show us them toofers, brother. Y'all look good in my sunglasses? Mm-hmm. You know where you can buy some? Where? KendallGrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. Kendall Gray shop. One dot com slash shop. One. Kendall Gray one dot com slash shop. Kendall Gray uh, dot com shop. Yep. Kendall Gray one dash cam. Com. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kendall Gray one dash cam slop. <laughs> You didn't expect me to just put a windshield on it and call it a day, did you? Cause I sure didn't. So Kendall dude, are you gonna put your, your fake M2 browning on it? Are you gonna put your Ma Deuce on it? No. We're doing something a lot better. Oh! Sorry, flower pot. cow when we could use the real 50 cow listen if you haven't seen it this is my 50 bmg sniper rifle seriously though if you've not seen the video you should probably gotta go watch it all right guys so right here me and bingo's actually making a video for the second channel we're making a behind the scenes as you could imagine building a machine gun mount to go on top of a car it's not exactly easy but if you'd like to watch that channel kennel grade 2 Alright guys, we zip tied it to the top of the Defender. Listen guys, I know it looks redneck, mainly cause it is, but listen, it's pretty solid. Like we can move it around and stuff, it's in good shape. Now the only thing we need to do is just, let's just go back there and shoot it some. Okay guys, we're out in the field. We have it running. We have the 50 cal. We're ready to go. Let's go. You want to shoot it first? Yes sir. I'll let it rip and then we'll get on up there and start doing some driving shots. How's that feel, Bingo? That's all great. All right, guys, here we go. Bingo's going to be the driver. I'm going to be the gunner. Let's do this. I'll tap the roof whenever I'm ready. Oh, gosh. That about gave me a heart attack. Turn us around. Let's get on the bank. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, this is crazy. Line us up for another shot. Here we go. All right, that's all I got. Whenever you shot, I could feel. Could you like feel the, it? I could feel the shock rate. Because the muzzle brake, the muzzle brake basically puts it right here on you. Like, how does it feel? It, Especially because you don't know when it's coming. It feels powerful, but like I kid you not, it's like if someone took a leaf blower and like did it in chains. It would just boom. Oh my! No way! Oh my gosh! All right, Bingo's going up. We got to reload the mag. Get excited, Bingo! Let's go! Ah! The strap came off! The strap came off! I, I, I did what you said. I had it right here. Yeah? And when I shot it, I saw the bullet yes. wave. And then about that time, that strap went flying. No! Through. The strap broke! The strap broke. Well, no wonder. We tied it with zip ties. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Honestly, I don't really think we need the straps too much. As long as I don't go fast, it should just like jerk a little bit dude it, it snapped the zip ties and we had them double let me go ahead and do this all right now i guess just have it like that and you can still shoot it pretty good <laughs> or you could try if i get I, i'll drive slow if i go that way all right bingo let's do this thing ready three two one i forgot my headphones ow my ears It's empty. We're out. Ooh. You not, this is my first time ever touching this gun. I'm in love. Is there a single reason why these people should not subscribe right now? 
No. So let's just go ahead and do that, guys, because we have we have things like this gonna be coming all all winter, guys. Like I've got we got big plans. So when you turned around, yeah, the first shot, I kid you not, was like this. I didn't have my headphones on. I'm well, those aren't headphones; those are Ear Pro. Yeah, so Bingo's having a hard time this video. <laughs> the 50 cal shell shocked him. Click right here to watch the first 50 cal video. We done some epic things in that video. But also, if you wanna buy some merch, kindlegrade slash shop Listen, guys, that really does help supports the channel. Helps us pay for ammo. Newsflash, it ain't cheap. Bingo, you gotta get better at loading magazines, dude. <laughs>